We are the Coleman's, Lorenzo Sharon. And I would just like to say, I thank God for Mount Gilead. Before coming to Richmond, our marriage was uh, a mess. It was, we were broken, um, no communication. Our finances were terrible. I would drink every day. I would have any excuse as, the re as to the reason that I drank, as long as it appeased me. It really broke us and to the point where we, we were ready to leave. Yeah, I was no, ready we were ready up. to have a divorce. Right, we <laughs> were ready to have a divorce. So, the very first Sunday in January 2013, uh, I was watching Bishop on TV, and Lorenzo just gets up and says, I'm going to church. Coming here, having no job, <laughs> you know, that, that Sunday morning, uh, uh, 2013, the first Sunday, I had thought, you know, well, how am I gonna get a job and support my family if I don't even got a, a spiritual covering? And so, you know, I that's what pushed me to go. We get in there and Bishop is preaching and we're looking at each other like, this man. Are you talking about us? Right. <laughs> I mean, it was, it was unbelievable how God just delivered a message through Bishop that totally appealed to us. I was ready to run down the aisle the, first, the very first Sunday. So we joined that January 27, 27 2013. And um, ever since then, this, I'm telling you, this is just the way God has been orchestrating everything from our life from just that point. That day we got a membership, we rededicated our lives, we got Holy Spirit filled all in mm -hmm. one shot. And you know, I was just so happy and ready to go. And that next month, um, I had got not one, but two jobs. Um, even on the day that I got the interview for one of the jobs I was working at, um, we went to Hardee's uh, <laughs> on that, that afternoon just to celebrate that I got you know, a job, you know, and, and um, you know, we were, we were there and I was trying to order three $5 bag meals so you can sit down and, and celebrate with our son. And here I am trying to pull out two and three debit cards to try to piece them all together to make $15. And it wasn't even an even split. But, you know, we weren't despising small beginnings. Um, you know, I, we sat down and we prayed and they brought our food out to us. And I just, you know, I just felt like, okay, we're on our way now. But, you know, we kept pushing, you know, and I noticed I was spending a lot of time away from my family due to my work schedule. So, you know, I went and talked to Bishop and I said, you know, Bishop, you know, I really want to be in service more. I want to serve more. Um, I need some advice, you know, to, to let me know the direction I need to take. And I can pray, you know, and I'm really trying to get an understanding. And I remember him saying, he stepped back and he looked and he said, well, what else is out there? What can you do? And, you know, I was like, well, I like, I like IT work, you know, computers. He said, okay, give it a shot. And so, you know, I started looking and, you know, God was orchestrating people to, to come across my path to help me to be, you know, into, into that field. And, you know, um, after doing all of that, you know, God blessed me to get into the, the position without the certifications that, I, that, that they were asking for. Later on, <laughs> another Sunday service on there, because I'm now working Monday through Friday, and I'm sitting up, you know, near the orchestra, and, you know, we're about to receive the offering, tithes and offerings, and Bishop had just ministered about getting off the bench and getting into the game. Now, the next day, I went into work, and I thanked my manager again for taking the opportunity to, to you know, hire me. And, um, you know, he thanked me, you know, he said, you're doing a good job, and, you know, keep up the good work. And, you know, um, three days later, he called me back in the office and uh, offered me a promotion. March uh, 2017, I, I called Della Johnson. I asked her about this house that I had seen. And um, she was like, well, 
said, okay, let me look into it. But then she came back, she was like, well look, it's through a realtor. She's like, so you go ahead and you call them and you find out from them, you know, what they looking for or whatever. So we called them and I said, that, I mean, the guy picked right up and I'm like, hey, you know, we seen, you know, you're about the house and we're really interested in the house. He was like, oh sure, the lock box number is, and he just gave us the lock box number. He was like, go right on over. He was like, take as long as you want, you know, just take your time. I'm looking at Lorenzo like, uh, who is this? And what, I mean, what kind of people is this? What kind of house is this that you, you just giving somebody the lockbox number? And so when we actually got here, it was like awesome. We called the man and Lorenzo just asked, I mean, all the necessary questions. And um, at the last question he asked was, look, is this, you know, rent with option to buy? He was like, sure. So sure enough, we went ahead and you know once he told me to get the application in and wait to get an approval and everything like that i knew then i said yo all right well the next time i talk to you we'll be discussing when i'm actually going to move in so speaking those things you know, just speaking those things <laughs> and so you know even the enemy tried to work on me then when we were about to submit the ap application you know it was like well you, your credit is not where it's supposed to be so you're not going to get in there but you know what god did it he was able to uh, approve it. Um, and not only that, the deposit that we had to have, we currently didn't have it in our bank account. But God, in three days, gave us that amount so we can move in. We're just so, I mean, we're excited. We're happy. I mean, we continuously ask God what is next because, I mean, he's just been blessing us beyond measures. I mean, beyond what we could even have thought from where we came from to where we are now. I mean, I can actually say, and it not offend me, that I was an alcoholic. And I thank God that now I can say that I have been delivered from that. I thank God that I can even say, now, if Lorenzo and I have, a, a, I wouldn't call it an argument, but when we discuss things, I don't hold a grudge. I say what I say, he says what he says, and we let it go. That's God just pruning us. He was pruning me. He knew what he had in store for me, but I just didn't know. So yes, I thank God for Mount Gilead. I thank God for where we are now.